What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the community AI only battle. We went to turn 500. We're here. We made it. Didn't break. We I got here. I'm still alive. It it's not taking that long actually. When I'm not recording, the game is actually a little bit faster. So it did speed up a little bit compared to when I was making the videos before. But we're here, turn 500. This will be as far as we're going. I may repeat some changes that happened in the last video just because I'm not 100% sure if I forget like when they happened. But nothing too much has changed in North America. It's all the same as we head down. It's all the same pretty much until there's new cities that have been settled. But that's it. Here, all that happened is I think, obviously, we saw Texas and the Inca piece out before the last video. Um, I, Brazil were at war with the Incans for ages. And then Texas went to war with Brazil. And that like that's why this whole area has been destroyed by nukes, as you can probably see. There's been a lot of nukes. <laughs> um... But I think Brazil took the Incan capital and then Texas were just ready to pounce and take it again. I don't think Texas, Texas aren't at war with the Inca. So I think Brazil must have taken this and then Texas just stole it away from them. That's it. Brazil are holding off pretty well at the moment, although Texas are everywhere. And oh my goodness, the load of radiation. That, why, did that not show up a minute ago? I'm confused. I swear that wasn't there. Anyway, up into Europe and the Moors did have to lose this city to Mali. However, as you can see, Ethiopia are currently also undergoing a nuclear war with Mali. And they're making progress. It's been very slow. This pretty much broke out after the last video ended. And they're only just getting this far now. Um, I think we said about Belgium taking this. But Belgium did push in and kill the Celts. And actually settled two new cities in Europe. And it makes you wonder why the Celts didn't do that ages ago. Austria survived a war with Ethiopia. They did nuke the Huns back, which was quite nice. But, um, yeah, they're pretty strong now. So we'll see if they stay... Well, we won't see, but I'm sure they did well to make it this far. Shout out to Byzantium, who are one turn away from death. They know how to pick their timing. Ethiopia declared war on them two turns ago with Stalin. I think Stalin, like, it set up a deal. I don't even know why, because he can't get over here. But yeah, Ethiopia will take them out. But they made it to turn 500, so that's all that matters. Nothing too much has changed for the Huns. I think they took Moscow, but I think that had happened before. I might be wrong. You might see a lot of the bigger sieves with just like massive amounts of planes. They're not. They just have all built a ton of guided missiles. I think aluminium's become available. And they've probably built recycling centers and stuff. So they've just built a ton of guided missiles. Ethiopia built jet fighters. But, you know, each to their own. But, yeah, we saw Ethiopia destroying Mali. They are still around. But, yeah, this has been a horrible nuclear war. Nigeria... I think they've been fighting some people in the sea, but they're right now. Burundi finished off the Zulu, and were one turn away from killing Kilwa. That, that, they made it to the end, though. You can't take it away from them. Yeah, Burundi would have killed Kilwa. That's a shame. It's not going to happen. Uh, India are still just here. Gandhi has nukes. He's not used them, mainly because I imagine if he did, Vietnam could take him out in probably a turn if they tried. And Vietnam haven't done anything, actually. They've been very quiet. I'm not really sure. They've been settling a lot and just building a ton of like everyone else i said ignore the huge numbers of air forces but vietnam actually just do have a ton of nukes i, I have no idea where they are now where'd you put them all okay maybe they don't have that many um which is weird i'm pretty sure unless oh do you know what happened i think vietnam got embargoed in the last few turns so um i think they've had to like delete some of their nukes although they do still have that nuclear missile samara is still around do they have nukes now? Oh, they settled another city. I didn't notice that. That 46, 32, 54. Holy moly. Um, that's crazy. Um, and Australia is still here. Nothing's changed there. Mongolia is still here. This is how the Korean Peninsula looks like. I think it looked like this before. And yeah, apart from that, I don't think too much has changed. May as well have a quick look at some of the info. I'd Holy, is that Vietnam <laughs> leading for score? I imagine it is Vietnam. Yes, it is. And who's that second and third? That must be Ethiopia and Texas battling it out. Let's just check. Ethiopia. Yep, that's Ethiopia. And Texas. Yep. And then who's fallen off? That's a yellow... Okay, the Sioux are actually above the Huns on score right now. That is the Huns, yeah. Um, And that's... Who's this orange line? There's no one on the map who's orange. So that must be the Moors? No? Oh, that's Belgium. Okay. Yeah, the Sioux have overtaken, apparently. That's impressive. But let's go have a quick look at some of the big ones. Top fives only. We don't have too much, to, you know, we've done the results. Samoa now have 158 million people. I believe that's about doubled in the last 100 turns. Vietnam, 106 million. The Huns, 69 million. Texas, 59 million. Burundi, 57. Ethiopia, 54. I imagine nuclear war with multiple sieves. Hasn't, 
Hasn't had too much help. Kiowa the lowest at 1.3 million. Crop yield, the biggest is Texas, then Vietnam, then Ethiopia, then the Sioux, then the Huns, then Belgium and the Moors. Production. Okay, Vietnam are falling away. Texas now lead 1.3 million tons. I feel like that's going to be more cities because the Sioux are up there as well. They've got more cities. Um, Vietnam, 941. So Vietnam obviously hit a limit once they build all the buildings. Once Texas and the Sioux have more cities, they're not going to be limited so much. Ethiopia in fourth, Belgium fifth, the Huns in sixth. You can have a little look. So you can pause the video if you want to just sort of scroll through. Or at least just see, you can't scroll through, just see who like the top 12 are at least. Land area, Vietnam still lead at 7.38 million kilometres, which is an increase despite them not doing anything. They settled one new city actually, <clears throat> north of Japan. So that was all right, but yeah, I, this is just solidifying. Sea tiles are very much included in this because their borders have grown out to sea. They own a huge amount of the Pacific Ocean. Texas in second, they have grown a bit. Ethiopia third, the Sioux fourth, the Huns in fifth, Brazil actually in sixth. Military manpower, Vietnam lead, mainly because they haven't been at war with anyone. Ethiopia still have the million soldiers despite being at war almost all the time. The Huns, Austria and the Sioux all in the 900,000 range. The Sioux are doing really well, wow. Maybe if we went on to a thousand, and no, that, that that's not happening. Let me just get that put out there. <laughs> Maybe the Sioux would win. Who knows? I feel like if anyone was going to, like, if we did go on to there'd be one left, obviously Vietnam would probably win. However, Texas would be the only ones I could see stopping them because the Huns are obviously between Vietnam and Ethiopia. Ethiopia have got Burundi to the south becoming very strong. But now, now I've seen this, maybe Texas could... Texas would take time. But if they eventually took out the Sioux, then they'd be unstoppable. I imagine, and obviously they're a bit safe, although they do border Vietnam technically, so it's all a bit of a mix. Social policies, Vietnam 44, the Huns, they, I feel like they're just picking them from different ideological tenets now, like that, that's ridiculous, 44, the Huns 38, Samoa 35, Ethiopia 33, happiness, Vietnam is 234, no, Australia is still really unhappy, they're just not having a good time, technologies, how many people? Vietnam are the only civ to have reached the end of the tech tree. That's a surprise. Ethiopia are one away, Samoa two away, Burundi and the Huns three away. That's cool. Lots of people in the final ten though, which is cool to see. It's been a very close game compared to usual. Usually there's like one or two runaway civs, and in this game they've been far closer together. Net gold, Burundi is about the only person making any money. I have no idea how that's possible. They have screwed the global economy, and this should not be a lot. Australia are losing 708 gold per turn. Texas, 611. The Sioux, 600. Ethiopia, even Ethiopia. Vietnam can't even manage the money. It's mainly because Polynesia is still in charge of the World Congress, and they're being really salty because they died, and they're just embargoing everybody. So they've screwed everyone. Cities, one for Byzantium, Korea, the Inca, and Kiwa. The Soviets, and Nigeria on three. Texas have 32, 25 for Texas, Ethiopia. Oh, Vietnam have 23. Maybe I was wrong then. And Belgium 15, the Huns 14, the Moors 11. Interesting. Science output, Vietnam. Oh my goodness, 3,000. That almost, okay, over double Texas. Ethiopia and the Huns, all pretty close. And Belgium just behind in fifth. Culture, Vietnam leading. Texas, the Sioux, the Huns in Ethiopia. Wonders, Vietnam have 20. That's four times what Samoa have. Belgium and Texas and Ethiopia all have four. Treasury, Burundi have 44,000 gold. All these other sieves are running out of money, so this is going to be a depleting value pretty soon. Burundi are making all the money, obviously. Total faith, Ethiopia have stored up a ton. Faith gain, Ethiopia are making a ton. I actually, great works. The Huns 13, Mali, oh no, that's not the top of the list. Vietnam 26, Ethiopia 18, Mongolia 17, 16 for Texas, 15 for the Sioux. Trade routes, 9 for a few, mostly on 8. Tourism, Vietnam leading Texas, who lead the Huns. I don't think anyone's won the game yet. No one's like got a cultural victory. I don't think my culture tab's still not working for some reason. But finally, religion. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I, what am I looking for? Religion overview. Let's just see. I didn't check this last time. Number of cities, 67. Hinduism from the Mayans dominating in the New World. Then it's sort of a four-way tie, pretty close. Between the four of them, Confucianism from Korea, Buddhism from Belgium, Judaism from Burundi, and Eastern Orthodox Ethiopia. Sikhism has been destroyed, and Catholicism from the Celts will probably be going that way too, because I imagine Belgium will now spread Buddhism. But that's going to be it for this episode and the series. There'll be a video explaining what's to come as the next sort of AI-only segment e-series very soon. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. It's kind of a unique idea. It's going to be a little different style. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next one.